So we have now exited Book Con 2019, day one, and we have a total take of this. Look at that. No, and that's, that. That's my strap, by the way. That's what you get for being on a point-and-shoot camera. But essentially... How many more days we got left on this point-and-shoot? Um, uh, less than a week. Less than a week. Less than a week. For the last couple of days, we have been living it up in New York City. We took a tour of our old stomping grounds, savored the types of food that you can only get in a city like New York, and quite frankly, we ate more bagels than the Surgeon General would recommend for a year. So what did we choose this morning? Everything not toasted, because I don't like it toasted when they toast it. The cream cheese gets all gushy and warm and melted. And then I have scallions and bacon in mine. It's really easy to see why this is such a great city. It's hidden attractions like the Color Factory where you explore art in an alternative way, We also explored the often visited and somewhat too touristy Intrepid Aircraft Carrier Naval Museum. But we did it on a night where they had a free movie showing on the deck after sunset. So cool. The week went on with a college tour of Columbia University and NYU for our not so soon to be high school graduate, Avalon. Okay, Avalon, we're at our first college tour. What do you think? NYU. I'm gonna get up in a minute and I'm gonna sing and dance and say, you are my daughter, she's the best. Largo, how do you feel? Largo, this is your first he college tour, boring. too. And a spectacular world towning meetup in Midtown. For all of you that were there, thanks so much for joining us. We are happy to have you as part of our community. But with that, we're here for the main event, BookCon. Good morning from Brooklyn. Avalon and I, after a late night at the Intrepid movie with the family, are heading out. And very tired. And we're very tired. But we're gonna muscle through because Alma was given a choice if she wanted to go to camp for a week or two this summer or if she wanted and, and or if she wanted to do something else and she said you know what I would like to go to BookCon <laughs> a book convention in New York City. It's a two-day conference and there are a lot of free books which is what I'm super excited about. You get to see um, tons of authors talk about books obviously and my favorite author is going to be there so that's cool. And she likes long walks on the beach no, and playing with dogs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can barely keep up with that one. She's on a dash. Mad dash. Because we have to be the first ones in line. We're like two hours early. How excited are you? <laughs> if you have not yet figured it out, Avalon is a full fledged, undisputed, card carrying book nerd. And she's proud of it. There is no place she would rather be than immersed in the pages of a book that interests her. We are officially in the line. Pronunciation. And how early do you think people at the front got here? I think people spent the night, guys. Probably, it opened at 6. So, like, people in the front got here. It opened at 6 a.m.? Yeah. Oh my gosh. But for us, having a library of books traveling around with us is a problem as we live in 21.5 feet of RV. Never have you ever thought about spending the night in a place with such a vast library, huh? Yeah. There are times that we can satisfy the urge to get a new paper back in our hands, but for the most part, we go the Kindle route. It's great as our public library in the States has hundreds of thousands of ebooks that we can borrow from wherever we are around the world. But for this weekend, BookCon is something that she has been looking forward to for a very long time. By the time this convention is over, we may need to build a new wing to the RV to house the added weight of the book haul that she is about to obtain. So this BookCon thing is no joke. We are about two hours in and I am exhausted. I am like the Sherpa here with all the bags and the books and standing in line to get autographs and all this stuff. But hey, it's super cute because I'd rather have them reading than cracking out on phones or something. So I, I um, push on. We need to go to the autographing area right now. Come on. Right now? Right now. Okay. So here are some keys to surviving BookCon. Comfortable shoes, bring water, come with an empty bladder, get a good night's sleep the night before, bring a bag to carry all your books, and breathe. Maybe meditate midway, because this is madness, and it is, well, tired. If you have never been to a book con, it's a celebration of all things literature. 
think of a place where authors are celebrities and are up front and center to share, insight, or provide a little inspiration to aspiring storytellers or just fan people. So Avalon is hoping to get this book during our two days here. I really hope she gets it. This place is a maze. There are thousands of readers here just to catch a glimpse of their favorite author or to get a coveted signed copy of a yet unreleased book. So mom has left me alone for a minute and I'm going to go stand in line as you would expect with Largo where he is standing in another line while mom goes to stand in another line. So as you would expect there is a lot of lines standing in Pecan. Largo, are you excited to meet Evangeline Lily? Meh. Meh. That means, in Largo terms, wow, yeah, I'm so excited. This is gonna be perfectly amazing. I've been waiting for this my whole life. Right? This is BookCon 2019, New York City, and we are in it to win it. And what I mean by winning it is bringing in the biggest free book haul that our muscles can bear. I am currently been pardoned. I've been pardoned from my duties of waiting in the lines to collect autograph and, and free books, and I got a five minute pee and snack break. I'm union, I'm not being treated very well. And now, now, after all of this, where am I going? Just sit in line again. <laughs> sit in line again for Avalon's crush, John no. Green. His hot 40 year old dude, I don't know if it's hot. She might oh, like his oh, books. Oh, she likes his books. I'm sorry. She, like, she likes this his way. brain. This way, Largo. All right, we have Avalon's favorite writer here, John Green. What do you have to say to John Green today? Write more? Yes, please, please, please write more. What do you think? Super excited. It's time for John Green. We've been waiting for all day. I'm so excited. One of my high school classmates, the brilliant Peruvian writer, Daniel Alarcon, who just uh, has been texting me all day. So we have now exited BookCon 2019, day one, and we have a total take of this. Look at that. No, and that's, that. that's, that's my strap, by the way. That's what you get for being on a point and shoot camera. But essentially. How many more days we got left on this point and shoot? Um, uh, less than a week. Less than a week. Less right. than a week. Shameless plug coming, guys. Our next university class is now open for enrollment. But first, thank you guys. Big shout out for being part of this great community. We could not be world towning without you. Are you looking for long-term travel and don't know how to get started? Do you think long-term travel is for the super rich or that uber hippie? Are you settled with credit cards, mortgage debt, kids' education costs, and you don't think you can do more than just a two-week vacation? Let's be honest, guys. Those are just excuses. But don't feel bad. That's honestly where we were as well four, four years, years ago. ago. And so are most of our students. Uh, for me, the biggest, really the biggest, biggest struggle I had was just the anxiety over um, getting everything done. And that is why we created World Towning University. Coming into class, our students had the same questions we had about long-term travel. Like, I know where I want to go, but what do I do next? How do I sell my house or take care of all my debt? How do I transfer my job to be remote? Can I give my kids a comparable education? You know what I really appreciated was at the beginning, you had us go through an exercise where we really tried to get a hold of why it is that we wanted to do this. In class, we discuss these items and many more. The most important thing we learned was that it was possible. All the, there were answers to all the questions that we had, things that we could do. Weekly topics covering. Visa. Housing. Medical. Employment. Technology. Education. Finances and more. Pre-recorded content. Weekly assignments to keep you on track to make sure that you're on your way. And so when we found World Towning University, it was like a godsend to me. Um, it really broke everything down into digestible um, sections. For me, the most important thing I learned was a way to think about how to do our business. A live interactive class. A private Facebook group. The network that you build, uh, being in a group with other people who are doing the same sort of, have the same sort of goals as you. And you guys get to talk about and discuss things that you didn't even think were going to be issues or things that you had to plan for, be aware of. And the best part, direct access to Will and I for 10 weeks. Honestly, this is better than a book because we get to ask questions and interact with other classmates. They walk you through all the things that they experienced and one of the things that we loved about them is that they were brutally honest about the highs and the lows. The confidence that you get from working with people who've done this. What I really appreciated about World Towning was that they thought of everything, every possible detail you would need to consider before making a move. We will equip you to launch your own World Towning journey before our 10-week class is over. 
So there's that the whole idea of wishing that you could do, and then there's the whole idea of actually doing right. it. Right. These guys live it day in, day out. They have lived it for quite a while now. They're continuing to live it. So what they're sharing with us is real. I know it sounds like we're promising the world, but we did it. Our family of four left a suburban middle-class lifestyle in the United States four years ago for slow travel, and we're still going. We have been on the road for about a month, uh, mostly in Western Europe, and we would not be here if not for that class. And it helps you, you know, have a mindset that you're not going on a vacation for two weeks. You, you're in, in, embarking on a journey. We know you have a lot on your plate, but this is literally the best step to living a more complete and fulfilled life. World Towning University is now open for enrollment, but we like to keep it small and intimate, so space will be limited. So you just sign up below to join the global growing community of World Towners. Let's do it. Thank you, World Towners. I've traveled the world and it was so awesome. And thanks to you guys, me and my mom had the best time ever. All right, information down below and now back to the show. Here we go. Welcome to day two of BookCon, where Avalon is spry and limber and wonderful, and mommy is fading fast. <laughs> <laughs> Avalon is a pro planner. She's got this down to a science. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we're gonna have a very successful day, even though we are quite tired and we're up late last oh night. God. Yeah, when you woke me up, I thought it was like I'd still been asleep and you were waking me up to tell me something. Believe me, I, I felt the same way. I know. Okay, now she's gonna run. Good luck, Avalon. I'll see you there. Get the books, honey, get the books. Run, run, Forrest. So day one turned into day two at BookCon, and it was essentially a lot of the same as day one. Hey, Mom. Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> we need you to go stand in lines. No sleeping on the job. I'm meditating. I need my 15 minutes to meditate a day. Kids getting excited. Free books, which we don't have room for in our bags. There isn't any really other books we want to get here. Not yet. What about the Star Wars book? Um, they're checking the itinerary, these two, and then they're going to be off and running again. But who can say no to free books? The kids had an amazing time. But let me tell you. Avalon was so, so incredibly excited to come here. She's got Largo all excited to be here and they are having a fantastic time. I mean, we gave her the option to go to camp or come here and she chose here and she keeps saying that it was the best decision ever. So it makes me really happy. It's really interesting to see their passions come alive when we expose them kind of beyond what they've learned in traditional school and actually bring them to events like this where their their tribe or their people are, right? I mean, there's, this place is full of really diverse people. It's not just young adults. There's adults here, there's older people, people of all walks of life, all ethnicity, dressed all very different from all over the US and we've met some international people. They're just he, all here for the books and that kind of common thread and I think it's really been great because it's made Avalon feel like, you know, she's, she's not alone in this love for books and writing and reading and that her tribe is out there, which is super cool. So Largo, tell me, how are you enjoying BookCon? I haven't interviewed you at all yet. It's okay. I mean, it's not one of the greatest things on earth, but it'll do. It's not great, but you were only supposed to come for one day and you decided you want to come a second day. Yeah. It can't be that bad then. No, it isn't. It isn't? What's been your favorite part? Yes. Well, I like playing with these. You like those? Did you get any books that you really like? Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, I think five. Five books you like, all for free? So after two days, yes, we have done it all. We are nearing the end of our time here. Look, it's emptying out, and these kids are still going strong. All right, so I'm heading back in. Just took a little 10 minute break with Will, and if you guys are wondering, where's Will? Why hasn't he been in this? Will has been working in the Javits Center downstairs because he will do anything to get a vlog out. So he's been editing the vlog. How's it going, honey? Got more books to drop off. <laughs> Will is, I am the line book person will is the boat book check i am i'm the bag checker so we are down to the last hour of book con and most people have left what i've learned is you really need a personal assistant or a someone like mom 
to stand in the line and help you out because you really have to strategically plan what you're gonna do next. Avalon mapped out a whole schedule. We scored a heap of new books, 35 to be exact. Got to join in on a writing workshop and even got to see my favorite author ever, John Green. Before he came on stage though, I even did a dance for all. <laughs> As you can see though, my dancing skills are a bit rusty. We are finally leaving after I think it's been a total of 20 hours at BookCon. Probably. We've, we've got to be hitting some record here. Yeah. yeah. All right, so overall, let's wrap it up. Did we have a good time at BookCon? The most amazing time. It was amazing. Would you guys do it again? We do it again. I'm doing it every year from now on. Every year from now on. And do you have a strategy? Like, you're gonna sleep uh, sleep over the night before in a that tent outside? Like amazing, we should do that. <laughs> Thank you guys, it was really, really fun. I loved going with you, I loved being your Sherpa. I don't, line girl. I don't like that I didn't get a lunch break. Oh, we I don't, well, and I'm- gonna be negotiated. I, it's gonna be negotiated for a contract for next year, and yep. I need a uniform, and I need a oh, chair. I, love that. I need a chair to sit on in the lines. Okay, we'll put you in some, like, fluorescent yellow thing. It'll be easier to see. Oh, there we go, and I need cheese. So with that, our time in New York is complete. Now I know why I'm a minimalist. Avalon's got one, two, three, four bags. largo has got one, two. I am carrying one, two, plus I've got three. And then back there is four bags. All together with all the books, I think we're carrying close to like a thousand pounds. Probably. We're on the bus and headed to our US home base, Maine. Sit back, relax, enjoy your trip, and thank you for going Greyhound. Catch us in the next episode where we do the one thing that we dread each time we come back to the U.S., going through the storage and having a yard sale. All right, I'm kind of going down memory lane. Ecuador, India, I really don't buy much. A kimono from Japan, Ecuador. This is a pillow from Peru, check this out. If you're enjoying the vlog, make sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe because we have a lot more coming. What do you think? Was it worth it? It was so worth it. Now, would you feel more comfortable maybe going to like a convention or conference where people make videos about themselves and post it on this thing called YouTube? No. Uh -uh. There are people that do stuff like that. Like they video their whole life and they put it online. I hear those are weird people.